Please, the name and a nomination, Speaker. The gentleman is recognized. So this is what the chamber looks like when we're actually debating and the bodies are in the chairs. How many times have we been down here giving speeches and there's not a soul in the chamber? Yet this is what it takes to get 440, 435 people in the chamber and have an actual debate. The American people are watching, and that's a good thing. What we're doing is exercising our rights to vote and have a debate and have a discussion about the future of this country through the decision of choosing a speaker. This is not personal. It's not. This is about the future of the country. This is about the direction of the country. American people who are looking at this body and wondering why we can pass $1.7 trillion bills that are unpaid for. They can just slide in $45 billion for Ukraine but not pay for it. $40 billion for emergency spending and not pay for it. 10% increase in defense spending. 6% increase in non-defense spending and not pay for it and not do a thing except put language in a bill that prohibits our ability to use the money to secure the border. That bill gets rammed through, and we know exactly how it gets rammed through, because the defense world and the non-defense world come together and say, you know what, we're gonna cut a deal, and we'll all go to the mics, and we'll all go give speeches, and the American people are the big losers. That's what happens. We know that's what happens. The Rules Committee sits up there and passes a bill, sends it to the floor, and we have no debate on the floor of this body. We haven't been able to offer an amendment on the floor of this body since May of 2016. The former leader and I have discussed this right here. That's true. But the fact is, this place has to change. It has to change. And the change comes by either adopting rules and procedures that will make us actually do our job, or it comes from leadership. And people ask me, what do you want? I want the tools or I want the leadership to stop the swamp from running over the average American every single day. We can't keep doing this. I'm gonna sit here until we figure out how to stop spending money we don't have. I don't want any more empty promises. I don't want any more, oh, don't worry, trust us, we'll do it. I wanna know that we're gonna be able to exercise our rights as a member of this body to stand up for the American people and actually fix this country. And it's not gonna happen when we use our men and women in uniform in defense and wrap ourselves around that and then spend more money that we don't have weakening that defense, weakening our country in the process. But that's what we just did. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I am asking for us to come together and figure out how to solve these problems. And to do that, I'm gonna do what I did my very first act as a member of Congress or as a congressman elect and nominate Jim Jordan for speaker. <laughs> now, Jim has said he doesn't want that nomination and Jim has been down here nominating Kevin and I respect that. And again, I have no personal animus towards Kevin. And I've worked for the last two months to try to figure out how to get the rules to make this place better, and we've made progress. But we do not have the tools or the leadership yet to stop the swamp from rolling over the American people. Jim has been doing it. He has a track record of doing it. And for those reasons, I am nominating Jim Jordan from Ohio for Speaker of the House of Representatives.